Welcome to Amplified Artist Sessions, Artist of the Week. I am your host, Allie Hart, and this week we are here with Tommy Odetto. Hey, Tommy. Hi, how are you? I'm good. So let me tell you a little bit about Tommy. Uh, Bay Area native Tommy Odetto first got the chills for music as a little boy when he came across Elvis Presley, Buddy Holly, and the Beatles. As Tommy approached his teens, he discovered guitarists such as Jimi Hendrix and Eric Clapton. Deeply inspired, he picked up the guitar and never looked back. So I read the rest of your bio. I'm not going to read it. So no, tell me about some of your stops and how you ended up in Milwaukee. Uh, yeah, for sure. So, um, yeah, like you said, I grew up in the Bay Area. Plain, so it's a little uh, town called Marin County. And um, it's just about 20 minutes north of the Golden Gate Bridge. I was blessed to grow up with, like, there's a lot of great musicians that live there. And, uh, yeah, it was just really amazing to have that opportunity to have the bar so high and learn from those kind of people that are just, you know, uh, all lifelong dedicated musicians there. So going up there, you know, I just, uh, I had the book really early on. Like you said, I, you know, heard Elvis. I saw like footage of him on the uh, Ed Sullivan show when I was a kid, like the black and white stuff, early Elvis, like Heartbreak Hotel, that era. And yeah, just, that was the first time I ever experienced like chills from music. And it just, it always stayed with me. So, um, when um, I really wanted a guitar then, but my parents, you know, we didn't have a whole lot of money and they're like, they got me kind of like a cheap one, like, which was fine because I just wanted to like dance with it, like act like Elvis, like I didn't even have the forethought of like learning how to play it. But then like a few years later, um, it kind of that, you know, that feeling reemerged that one of my uh, best friends, uh, his cousin was into classic rock and a lot of stuff. So it felt like in the first month of, um, him showing me music that I learned about Cream, Stevie Ray Vaughan, Hendrix, Led Zeppelin, BB King, like all this stuff that I was like, I've never heard that before. Like, and um, and then shortly after that, I saw footage of Jimi Hendrix playing. I think it was live at Monterey Pop, and I didn't even know somebody could be so expressive with the instrument. I mean, his psyche, his his soul, his his body, just everything was there. And I was just like, I don't know how to play or anything but i want to do that you know yeah that feeling's never left so so what why milwaukee why are you here what do you love about milwaukee i love so many things about milwaukee but i'll just say how i started adding up here so my good friend sandy she's off camera you can't see her we met a few years ago um really long story short i made a total fanboy video uh that was my dream jam with dave Grohl, and you know i put out on youtube uh, and I, but then I was like, how could I further maybe get it out there? So I started sending it to a couple people that I thought maybe be associated with the band through Facebook and uh, AKA stalking. So um, I came across, um, I came across Sandy. Um, we had a mutual friend on Facebook. He was known uh, in the LA rock community because Foo Fighters would do a lot of pop-up shows at his like pizza joint that hold like a hundred people. So a lot of any, if you were a big fan and like followed the band, you kind of knew about this guy, David Vieira, Veggie's his nickname. And um, one day on Facebook, I saw Sandy in uh, my news feed and there's pictures of her with uh, Veggie. So at the Foo Fighters studio. So I thought she worked for the band. So I said, hey, you don't know me, but I made this video. It's my dream of jam with Dave and hope you like it. And she, she didn't get it. Uh, she tells me, I thought I only wrote her once or twice. She says I wrote her like four or five times. So squeaky wheel gets the grease, I guess. Um, that's awesome <laughs> yeah but anyway she she um long story short after that it's kind of hard to cut it down but she, she i guess like loved the video she showed it to uh david Vieira, and um uh you know then i ended up opening for chevy metal which is taylor hawkins a drummer of foo fighters it's it's like his classic rock cover band sometimes dave will play with them and stuff and so she got me on the opening uh, set. Of, it was just an L.A. festival, like a county fair. You know what I mean? Like nobody really knew who was, you know, Chevy Metal was, unless like you were a core fan, like following Foo Fighters. Anyways, we just really hit it off there and uh, became really good friends. And she started helping me with flyers and, e uh, you know, emails for gigs and my website. And then, you know, some months down the road, uh, she's like, you should come out here and visit and like check it out. And. I didn't even, I've heard of Milwaukee, but I didn't even know it was in Wisconsin. I mean, it just like wasn't even on my radar. <laughs> like I didn't Aww. even know anyone that went, has been to Milwaukee. Summerfest though? You heard Summerfest. I had until I moved here. Oh, wow. People oh, yeah. are in their own worlds in the Bay Area, I tell you. 
But uh, yeah, so after a few years of, you know, visiting here and I just, I fell in love with, I just loved how friendly people were here. And there's, you know, there's great people everywhere, but I noticed there was so much talent in the Bay Area and California in general. A lot of it gets taken for granted. And I, and I felt playing here that people really appreciate live music. And, you know, uh, I felt like there was also a deep affinity for rock and blues, which is yeah. like what I love. So yeah, it just, um, you know, I came to visit um, uh, February last year and then COVID happened. So everything that I was doing in California gig wise got canceled. So I just decided to stay a little longer and I'm just like, you know what? I love it here. Everybody's so cool. That's it's awesome. gorgeous to me. So yeah, I'm like, yeah, I'm happy. Well, to we here. are happy to have you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, so I'm excited to hear what you have to play for us. So, okay. um, stick around everybody. We want to give a huge shout out to North coast center for the arts and ACA music and entertainment for helping us put this on. Um, but yeah, I want, I'm excited. Let's hear it. Okay. Thank you. Three steps ahead when I can't chase the sound. Nothing left to lose. Don't belong to anyone No matter what I do I'm always on the road When I cross the street yeah, You can hear a black cat moan Like my whole life, I'd be better off alone. No matter what I do, well, I'm always on the road. This is a, a song of mine, a, a recent um, composition that I wrote. It's called uh, Trouble Mind Blues. Hope you like it. Well, 
had to talk with God. I hope he understand. I never heard a word, so the devil took my hand. Yes, I'm troubled. Then I got a worry in mind. But on my judgment day, don't hang your head and cry. Went to the preacher, there ain't nothing he could do. Said, son, I hope the Lord could see you through. Yes, I'm troubled. And I got a worry in mind. Walk on that just the day. Don't hang your head and cry. Well, I know I got it coming. The writing's on the wall. I see that hanging tree, and the rope's about to fall. Yes, I'm troubled. And I got worry on my mind. Well, on my judgment day, don't hang your head and cry. I got no angel on my shoulder, no Lord to see me through. I know I got it coming, I know what I am do. Yes, I'm troubled, and I got a worry in mind. Well, on my judgment day, don't hang your head and cry. Judgment Day Don't hang your head